Hello friends, so uh, this is a GeoGebra tool. So we are going to visualize how does a linear equation in two variables uh, is represented and uh, in, a, in, a, in a coordinate plane, you know, x, y plane. So we have, if you see, uh, we have taken an equation over here, x plus y plus one equals to zero. So this equation is basically, uh, uh, you know, a special case of a, uh, ax plus by plus c where if you can see a is equal to 1 b is equal to 1 and c is equal to 1 this is how the equation look uh, when visualized in a graphing tool now if i just want to explore what happens if i keep changing the values of a b and c and uh, how does the uh, the equation or the graph of the equation behave so here I have a equals to one in this equation. So let us say if I change the value of a in the linear equation. So if I increase, I'm, I'm now increasing this value of a. Can you see uh, the line is now rotating, rotating around a fixed point. Let me just uh, find that point out first. So if you take point, let me just, uh, you know, this is the point of intersection of, so, uh, the line and the y-axis so the point of intersection here is 0 and minus 1 so if I change the value of a nothing changes as in the point of intersection of the line and the y-axis doesn't change and if you see as I am reducing the value of a the line is going in anti-clockwise direction as I am increasing the a the line goes in a clockwise direction that's how it's behaving so hence it is covering the entire xy plane isn't it now I'm going to fix this value a to one. Okay. Now what happens if I change B? So if you change B again, so if I am increasing, can you see it is going in anti-clockwise direction? And again here, if you see the point of intersection of the line and the mm -hmm. y-axis is changing, but the point of intersection of point of intersection of uh, the line and the x-axis is not changing. So I'll, I'm again going to fix this point let us say this is the point b okay minus one comma zero so now let me change the value of b again so if you see the point of intersection of x axis and the line is not changing but the uh, point of intersection of y axis and the line is changing isn't it so this is how the visualization or the graph changes as you keep on varying the value of a and b what happens if I change the uh, value of C? Let us see the effect of changing the value of C. So if I change the value of C, if you can see, I am changing the value of C, but unfortunately it's not changing. Why? Because we have kept, we have to just delete these points because we had to fix these points. So hence, now let me just delete this point so that there is no constraint on, in, uh, on the line. Now if you change the C value, can you see? It's changing, it's shifting, it's translating. We say that the line is shifting or translating. And if I increase the value of C, it is going leftwards, right? And if I decrease the value of C, it is going rightwards. Or in the other uh, other way of look at, looking at it is, if you decrease the value of C, it is going upwards. And if you increase the value of C, it is going downwards, isn't it? And there's one case which I wanted to highlight is then is that when C becomes zero so if you see c is zero now in such case the line passes through the origin so now you change keep on changing the value of a and b the line will always pass through origin right will always pass through origin so what is the condition for the line to be passing through origin the c value must be zero right so you can now you know use this software and uh, try tweaking a b and c and try and see how uh, the graph changes or how, how uh, the visualization of the linear equation changes when you change a b and c thank you